Hey guys, Houston Cowdog here. Back to make another video for you guys. This is going to be uh, a uh, video where I will show you guys some uh, cars I've brought in over the past couple of weeks or so. Uh, I'm going to do a two part, show you a few customs in this part one, and some cars I got in on eBay. And then I'll do a part two. I've got a few more cars, a couple of more eBay cars, uh, some a few little flea market finds. I'll do a little comparison in part two. <coughs> so stay tuned for that, guys. All right. So this is Hot Wheels 79 Ford Crew Cab I built uh, last week. Or uh, I may have finished it up over the weekend, I guess, or maybe last Friday afternoon. Uh, I make these crew cab Fords just out of two Hot Wheels 79 Ford trucks. Uh, <coughs> these are a little tricky to make. They're not particularly fun. The body work involved in them is kind of tedious. You've got to glue the two pieces together, do the body work on the top with the Bondo, put the Bondo on, let the Bondo dry sand put more on sand and so it's just um several step process and and it's kind of uh i don't know it takes a long time to do so i don't do them that often i've done maybe a dozen of these or so over the past six seven years eventually i'll put this truck up on ebay i may try to sell it on instagram I, I seem to not have a lot of luck selling stuff on instagram but i'll offer it there first and then uh, if it doesn't move, I'll, I'll put it on eBay. Okay, guys. This truck uh, just has a very slight lift. Aluminum tubing for the lift. And then some of the very nice green light uh, chrome wheels. And rubber off-road tires. It's kind of a maroon or deep red color. The black two-tone. Here's a, another one I did. This is just a Hot Wheels uh, K5 Blazer. I don't know what. Let's see how Hot Wheels labels this. If the, that's a 70. Okay. So Hot Wheels labels this as a 70 Chevrolet K5 Blazer. I did this in kind of an old, um, a worn look, a distressed look. It's painted in uh, Ace Hardware Equipment Paint. Caterpillar yellow. So it's kind of that mustard yellow color, which is very similar to a factory color in, oh, I guess 70 to 72 on trucks and blazers. And it's got some M2 uh, wheels and tires on it. This truck looks a lot better in person than it does on camera. On the pictures I took for it for Instagram and here on the video, it's really cool. Really pleased with that truck. That truck's for sale too. If you're interested in it, let me know. Okay, couple of customs. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels uh, 72 Ford Grand Torino. Uh, Hot Wheels did this car in the factory paint scheme and I believe they did this blue they did a very cool I have them all got them in there check my Instagram page I show them all on there in, in one photo I think they did this blue this kind of uh, royal blue metallic blue with the light blue stripe they have a light blue one with a darker blue stripe they did a re uh, red with a yellow stripe and they did a green with a light green stripe I think those are the only ones that Hot Wheels did in this factory coloration uh really like them a lot this car i just did a wheel swap on it put some green light mag 500s on it rubber tires thought that turned out really well too i'm a big fan of 72 well really grand torino's period so whatever that would be 72 roughly 77 78 for grand torino's Greenlight is coming out with a 
70, I guess 74 to 76 Torino. I think the first release of it is going to be at uh, Starsky and Hutch car. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, I got a boogie here, guys. I am down to only 10 minutes left. This is a Hot Wheels uh, Ferrari, what are these called? 365 GTB Daytona. 365, yeah, GTB Daytona. Did a wheel swap on it. I put some, uh, these wheels came off of the green light AC Cobra or Shelby Cobra that came on the ramp truck. That's a 1960s style magnesium wheel. I don't know that that kind of wheel is going to be accurate to a Ferrari 365 GTB, but I thought they looked pretty good on it. I found this car at the flea market a while back for a dollar. Um, and I think it's beautiful. I think the color is very nice. It's in very good shape, and I love the red interior on it. This was not a mainline car. I'm not sure what series it came in, but it was a step above a mainline car. It had like some chrome five-star wheels on it, but it did not have rubber tires. And this is a... Oh, I like this one a lot. This is a uh, Maisto dollar store or grocery store or Walgreens a car. They usually sell these like for 75 cents each or two for a dollar fifty or something. This is actually the only Lamborghini Countach casting I have. I don't particularly care for the Hot Wheels mainline casting or the Matchbox, and I don't have any of the nice ones. The uh, Kyosho, I guess, or Kyosho makes one a really nice one. I don't have one of those. I would like to have it. I just put some green light wheels and tires on this. And those wheels are from like a green light F-150 truck. However, I think this particular wheel looks good. And I may be totally off. I don't know. But I think that wheel is somewhat representative of a 70s era. A wheel that you might find on a 70s era European sports car. Okay, here is a... I'll show you a few cars I got in on an eBay purchase that I'm really excited about. Here is a Greenlight 68 Chevelle SS. I really like this casting. I've kind of started uh, hunting some of them down. This is a beautiful... It looks red on camera here, but it's really kind of almost more of an orange. Orange, if it is not orange. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little colorblind, but it's like a hugger orange or... Or somewhere between a, a firethorn red, maybe. I can't remember what the color is, but it's a... Um, Kind of a mix between a, a light red and a reddish orange. Opening hood. Orange Chevrolet block. Black vinyl top. Very nice detail. In real life, for some reason, I never liked 68, 69 Chevelles, but just overnight, they started growing on me. I think I actually have one of these stashed away in my green light carded collection somewhere. I think I have the black and white 68 SS. I want to find that and open it. When I get some time, I'll go through that and open it. And also in that same purchase from the same seller, I got the blue Yinko car. I think these are 69s. Beautiful color, especially when you pair it up with the Yinko Greenlight Chevrolet van, which I wheel swapped. I know, guys, I'm really bad about wheel swapping stuff. It's something fun to do when you're bored on a Saturday or Sunday. Just start pulling cars down, zapping the base off, and do a wheel swap on it. And I also got this Gold Ginkgo 69. They also make this car, I believe, in a yellow, similar to this yellow, kind of a mustard yellow. And they've got it in a beautiful dark green that I'd like to have. And I think they have a red one. I think they have an orange one, and they may have a few other colors, too. I'd like to try to gather those all up. And... 
here's a car. I got this car in a trade from Paul Rosell. It was an extra he threw in, but it actually ended up being one of my favorite cars in the box. It's a Johnny Lightning 68. I don't know if Johnny Lightning has this marked as a 68 or 69, 68. And I just blackwashed the wheels on this car to get a little definition on them. But quick comparison here. They're pretty close. I'd say the green light, I don't know. I like the Johnny Lightning better for some reason. Maybe because it was an extra and that's what makes me like it better. An extra and a trade with Paul. But really like this car a lot. Let's see if I put it on it. Yeah, it's got an opening hood, but doesn't stay open. So I want to show you guys that so you can see the comparison between a Johnny Lightning and a Green Light Chevelle. And I also got this car. A Green Light 78 Corvette. Cool color, light blue with kind of a metallic blue bottom. I wish it had uh, white letter tires on it, but it does not. And I think I'm not a big Corvette guy. In fact, I in the past, I really haven't cared for them at all. For some reason, just like this Chevelle, I have uh, really started liking these uh, 70, you know, 76 to 81, where they go up to 82 Corvettes. Really starting to like one. I saw one in the parking lot at a grocery store the other day. I think it was an 80. It was a beautiful silver. It was really nice. Black interior. It's a beautiful car. They don't have much for performance, but you can still buy. I kind of started digging around. You can still buy a really nice 78, 79, 80, 81 Corvette at a really good price. And I really even kind of started scratching around seeing if maybe I might pick up a real one. Uh, i got to get rid of the <coughs> K5 Blazer I've got sitting out there first <laughs> if I want a Corvette. I don't think I would wife would like it much if I had a, a Jeep, a Blazer, and a Corvette. So something's going to have to go. But this is a beautiful car. I'm really glad I, I picked it up. And let's see. The <clears throat> last two that I got in that eBay purchase are going to be these two Trans Ams. Both of which I am crazy about. Love this gold 80. Look at that 80 turbo hood. Those scoops just on one side. I don't know how accurate that bird is to an 80. I'd have to look up some pictures. But I think it, it almost looks like a 79 bird on an 80 hood. I think there was actually more to the bird on an 80. But I could be wrong. This color is beautiful. Black interior. The wheels are not accurate. Uh, but I think they look pretty good. At some point, I'll strip these wheels off, and I don't know what I'll find to put on there. I'll try to get a little closer. So I can add that to my uh, 75 to 80, 81 Trans Am collection. And then I got this. Greenlight 80. Nine, it's 89 or 87, 89 Trans Am. This car, when it came out, they did, I don't know if, this car had the Buick Grand National motor in it. So what is that, a turbocharged or is that a turbocharged 3600, 3.6 liter General Motors V6, screamer of a motor, it was ultra high performance for its day. But Pontiac did a select few Trans Ams with that motor. And I think that they were all white. They may have done a couple of yellow. I'm not sure. And I don't know if they were all marked as official pace cars. Some did not have the decals. But it was a very high performance car in 89 when this car came out. And it was in limited numbers. Glad to have this. Okay, guys. Stay tuned for part two. That will probably post a day or even two days after this post. Uh, because I always forget to download this at night when I go to download these when I go to night or go to bed at night. But I'm going to go ahead and film part two now and try to get it up within 48 hours or so. And I'll try to get this uploaded tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.